Um, and we are running Punk Rock because Overdrive funny. That's literally it. <laughs> Overdrive is a funny move. Hopefully we can get a game. I mean, we're definitely going to be able to, but it seems like Series 10, like the ladder's starting to get a little bit less active. But yeah, no, this is actually a pretty fun Toxtricity team. Like, we have a stack attack and a Toxtricity, so obviously ground moves are kind of annoying versus us. But we do have two flying types and a couple of switch ins, so we should be fine. Dang! Rank 12,000. I'm, like, legally not allowed to lose this match. That might be easier said than done, though. I think I saw Jin using this team yesterday. Yeah, we're shifting in a maximum overdrive here. Yeah, I saw Jin using this team the other day. Um. Definitely want to bring Stack Attacka. Eveltal is kind of iffy. I think Eveltal actually like really hates this matchup, so I might leave it at home. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead off Eveltal, actually. Toxtricity. And I'm going to bring Stack Attack of Amoongus and just hope I don't lose. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my opponent is using a competent team, but they're ranked like 12,000, so I'm just going to hope I don't, I don't lose to them. <laughs> Oh, hello, slow transition. Oh, I didn't set this up. Webcam, face outline, Moxie Booster logo, we're done. So we have a couple of options. We have a couple of options, obviously, obviously. Um, I want to make the read that my opponent's going to protect the Calyrex. Calyrex carries protect on this team, right? Someone please tell me. Please tell me Calyrex has protect on this team, because under no circumstance do you stay in versus... Versus Eveltal if you do. Someone please confirm. <laughs> Before I click this, I need someone to confirm. Otherwise, my play's different. Oh god, someone confirm. Okay, I'm just gonna assume. I'm just gonna assume. Acid spray. Please do not stay in with Calyrex. Yes! Okay, we stopped the Trick Room. You might think, Marcos boosted. How did you stop the Trick Room? Here's how. <laughs> Here's how we stopped the Trick Room. Minus two special defense. Disguise. Broken. Dark Pulse. Inter er, in, in Dark Aura. This thing's gone. I was wrong, and I feel stupid. How bulky is that thing? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Not like this, not like this, not like this. Um. Do you think we're slower than the Mimikyu? If the Mimikyu is max speed, we can sucker punch it. No, no, because I'm, I'm like super fast. We're faster than Mimikyu. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, let me get in stack attacka. I'm gonna let him have this Eveltal. Yeah, how did it live that? I mean, it's going to take some decent damage from this. Um, oh, we could have actually prevented that from... Yeah, we could have prevented the weakness policy. Apparently, we are faster than the Mimikyu was. Or slower than the Mimikyu. Or it just didn't Shadow Sneak. That was a good read, too. I guess that wasn't a read technically, but there was no reason not to Glacial Lance. Wow. Um, this went horrible. <laughs> this went horribly. I'm going to go ahead and try to put this Calyrex to sleep, but I don't know why they didn't Glacial Lance. Unless they were trying to specifically make that read. Alright, my play here is going to be Spore plus Snarl. Because it should do decent damage to both.
Yeah, I'm thinking they didn't think about it much. All right, yeah. Calyrex is fast asleep. That's good. That's good. Play rough. Shouldn't do too much. It does too much. Critical hit. Yeah, that's why. We're getting pretty unlucky here. This is getting kind of upsetting. All right. What's what's nice, though, is we can just pollen puff. And I think that Calyrex is in range of Sucker Punch. So we don't... Even if it's, like, minus two, I think it's in range of Sucker Punch. It's going to be Incineroar, isn't it? Yeah, there he is. There's there's the boy. There's the boy. Uh, probably Goggles Incineroar. Yay! <laughs> okay, so maybe they just maybe they just got tired of playing. Maybe they just got tired of playing. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. <laughs> okay, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to support the channel, it is September. Subs are fifty percent off. And at fifty subscribers, I will be uh, doing Monday stream or not Monday Saturday streams. Today is Monday. As we're facing the stalliest stall team to have ever stalled anyone out. Every single Pokemon, except for the last two, could technically be running pressure. What is happening to me right now, and how do I stop it? Here's how we stop it. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring my boy Stackataka, because he seems to be my best friend. Um, and Urshifu feels alright, technically. Amoongus could also be all right, but I think our shoes a little bit better. Hey, Immortal. Thank you so much for the uh, host. I appreciate you. All right, let's do it. Oh, of course, Marnie would be running the stall team. Who else but Marnie? Uh, do I want to make the read and say it might be Meteor Beam? I want to say this is definitely not Meteor Beam. Okay, check this out. I don't care who you are. You're not taking this very well. This is going to be a two-shot for sure, but... If we can prevent them from, you know, stalling us out, that'd be great. And one would assume if you're running a bulky Eternatus, yeah, then I'm going to be faster. Because I'm only speed crept for base 120s. Dynamax Cannon, can that be into my Evelto? That'd be great. Bye, Toxtricity. Alright, luckily they're not going to like this. Good damage. Good, good damage. There's the spite? Hello? Huh. 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 Okay, not the end of the world. Um, obviously, Dark Pulse is my best breaking tool. I want to say they're probably going to protect here. I might just Dark Pulse anyways. It should KO from that range. I'm just going to Dark Pulse in. I'm going to Surging Strikes. Dude, Pressure Spike Corviknight. This thing's kind of heat. This, this team's actually going kind of hard. Yep, there's the recover. They should die anyways, though, since they only heal 50%, and I did well over that. I think they're just barely in range. They might just barely be out of range, but I can just Aqua Jet next turn and be done with it. Yeah, I'll Aqua Jet this next turn. We'll be fine. Since they have no defensive play for that. One? And if they Brave Bird me, like, they're, they're not in a good spot. Does pressure stack? Uh, no. Pressure only counts if you're targeting the Pokemon with pressure, so it technically doesn't stack.
by four. By four. <laughs> we have like three surging strikes. Wait, did I PP max this? All right, Dark Pulse. Not you, not you, not you. Dark Pulse. Did I PP max this? Please tell me. Oh, we have two. We have two left. <sighs> ah, we have two of those left, dude. Okay. Okay, I think it should come close to going down here. Okay. There's the roost. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to target everything not named Corviknight and hope that they're not running body press. Or I target the Corviknight and hope that they are. <laughs> I mean, Corviknight might be in range of Surging Strikes plus Dark Pulse, but it's probably not. And I'm kind of scared because I have two Surging Strikes left. Finally, a fun meta team. What do you mean? Most meta teams are really fun. And this is not meta. This is, by all definitions, very off meta. Alright, there's the Suicune. Hey, hey, it's pressure. Who would have guessed? Okay. Uh, close combat is stronger than Surging Strike, so I'm going to double into it. It's just barely stronger is the issue. Please don't make me lose to the rank 12,000s player. <laughs> I don't think this KOs. Okay, it KOs. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. There's the Scald. Don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is doable. Obviously, we need to keep stack attacking nice and healthy. There's the Ditto. Yikes. It's likely Scarf. Uh, I can go ahead and protect this turn. I'm going to go for a Snarl. Snarl Detect. Luckily, um, I can actually PP stall this Ditto. Depending on who goes first, uh, we'll be able to tell if it's Scarf or not. Probably Scarf. Most Ditto are Scarf. I would hope it's Scarf. Then this makes this a lot easier. Because then Ditto's just going to struggle to death. Oh, man. This is scary. I think technically if I snarled Eternatus and Suicune, if they were on the field at the same time, that would have actually doubled the, the pressure stall. I'm not sure. Alright, he's probably Scarf. Not gonna do that much since I'm Assault Vest, so. That's good damage. Especially for a Ditto that's copying an Eveltal. <laughs> I'll take it. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. Let me go ahead and go for the uh, Rock Slide here. I think that's worth my time. Because it should just get rid of this ditto, like ASAP. I'm going to go right and back into my Eveltal. Because I think Close Combat plus Dark Pulse is my best chance of winning. This is a very annoying team. <laughs> this is a very annoying team. What are your thoughts on this? Is this team based or cringe? Hello, take even less from... Oh, okay, interesting. Interesting play. Probably gonna scald me. That was a crit, too. I don't know why you would... Yeah, you should always go for that into the Urshifu slot, if anything. I guess you're, you know, locked. Uh, can you not burn me just to... Oh my god, can you not crit me either? Ow. Hello? <laughs> I didn't like that. Oh my god, I didn't like that. Um, I can Snarl here. I can Snarl here, and that'll make it easier for me to live.
Oh my god. Like, if he had not crit me right there, that would have been amazing. Alright, he's burned through three of these now. He's got two more. Decent damage. Leftovers are also not on this thing, so I should be able to beat it. So my play, the 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 correct play here is. Also, we confirm that they're not um, choice scarf because I went first. Uh, they're probably citrus berry. I think I can take an oblivion wing if I win the speed tie here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close combat this thing. Because I'm timid on my Eveltal. It's first. Oh my god, please. Can you just live? Thank you, Urshifu. That's going to matter. That's going to matter. Alright, it's probably going to need a Citrus Berry here. Unless it's like safety goggles, which I would really love. It's not, it's not Barry. It's not Barry. We win. We win. All right. We win even though, because it's not Barry. And he doesn't get a burn. Cool. Uh, I can guarantee a win by aqua jetting here. <laughs> Just because I think my dark pulse might not KO. And if they protect, this just goes through. God, this is scary. G opponent, why do you get two restricteds? Okay, glad I aqua jetted here because that's just a little bit more damage. And now they're definitely in Dark Pulse range and I win. Because they're going to struggle to death now. Oh, interesting play. I don't know why you would do that, but you did. Anyways, we know we're faster than the Suicune because they didn't Tailwind or anything. Yep, there it is. Alright, and that's game because I Oblivion wing them. Nice. Nice. Okay. I had to send a message there. Not to the opponent. I mean, we sent a message to the opponent. But uh, I had to send a message on Discord. I was going to do the... Um, I was going to do the uh, ATX uh, friendlies tonight. But I actually have to attend a work meeting. And I completely forgot about it. So I had to cancel. But yeah. No, we're still streaming tonight though. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a high rank. We're good. We actually have something to gain here. Um... So one of our better matchups, obviously Calyrex Shadow doesn't really like this team. I can also go Toxtricity Velton lead, and this is actually really nasty if they decide to go with a, a Landorus lead. Thank you for the follow, Milky. Uh, let me go ahead and bring the Amoongus. I think Amoongus is actually pretty good here. Actually, mm, maybe not. Sash, Sash Urshifu, how much do I like you? I think Amoongus I can bring, yeah. I'll bring, I'll bring Sash Urshifu, yeah. Yeah, it's been a minute since I saw Clefairy. I mean, Clefairy is never going to be bad, especially next to Calyrex Shadow. I'm surprised we haven't seen that much. Mainly because, like, I guess Ndidi outclasses it as a follow me user next to Calyrex Shadow, specifically because it gives it Psychic Terrain and Expanding Force. Um, I think Clefairy next to Calyrex Ice could actually be really busted. I think that's something I might try out. Oh yeah, Jordan Knight. I'll review the team after I finish this. My bad.
All right, so uh, luckily for me, nothing here likes staying in. I think what I'm going to do here is just acid spray this um, acid spray this Volcarona. And I'm probably going to get faked out, but if I don't, this Volcarona's gone. And if they try to switch out into anything, it's, it's just not going to like it. There's the fake out onto you. That's what I figured. Struggle Bug. Is they Quiver Dance? Okay. So luckily you're at minus two, sir. I'm just going to put that out. <laughs> just going to put that out there. You're at minus two. Um, so what I can do here is go for my Oblivion Wing pretty safely into the Volcarona. And it's not going to like it. It's not. I'm going to hard switch out my Tox. For Urshifu, I think. Do I go into Urshifu? I think I go into Urshifu here. I can attempt to Oblivion Wing. I, I mean, there's no situation where they would go for, like, a grass move into my Tox. I think they're just going to go ahead and go for, like, a U-turn and also, like, Heat Wave or something. Yeah. Bug Buzz, that's fine. I'm going to eat that up because I'm AV. And, speaking of eating it up, I'm about to eat up that... I'm about to eat up that health, dude. Look at this. And it's gone. Thank you. <laughs> We're back up to full. <laughs> Look at all of that health, dude. We're back up to full. Dude. I didn't expect to get all of that back. Like, that was a lot of damage. Sipping on the moth. Mm. We're sipping on moth today, boys. Okay, so here's what's really cool. Um... I'm specifically EV'd to always outspeed Urshifu, so if this is Sash Urshifu, it's well worth giving up my own Urshifu to do this. There goes your Sash. Yep, it was Sash. Gimme, 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 gimme. That's mine. Thank you. Minecraft drinking noises. Yeah, I think if, if I make this into a VOD, which this this match is definitely making the VOD, um, but I'll, I'll try to add the Minecraft drinking noise right there. There's the Lando. Okay. All right, Lando. All right, Lando. Should we teach this Lando a lesson? Check this out. I'm going to go into my talks. I want to show you, like, the calc that made me want to use this team. No, they just forfeit. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Nice. We we have matching we have matching uh, trainer cards. We were all seven seven seven. Had it, didn't it? Or was it like a jack button? Okay, this is Mewtwo. This is literally Mewtwo. I don't need to say anything else. Like if I lose to this, I'm gonna be pretty upset. <laughs> Serene Grace Prem. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. I want to lead off with, uh, I'll go Lando Tox, not Lando Tox, Eveltal Tox, I'll bring Lando in the back. This is actually a really good Lando match. And I think my last Mon, if I want to be really safe, I could go with uh, Stack Attacka. I mean, most of the game I'm just going to keep clicking like Snarl, so. Scarf Thundee, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, I was probably going to switch in my, um, my, uh, what's it called? I was probably going to switch in my Lando that turn anyways. Okay. Stack attack and Mewtwo. Kind of a crap lead for me. Kind of a crap lead. Um, I mean, I think Mewtwo drops to a Sucker Punch. I can go Lando to make sure I live whatever. I guess I'll just Dark Pulse here. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna Volt Switch there. I may be Scarf, but I'm not, uh, I'm not crept to outspeed 130s. And the reason I don't Sucker Punch there is in case Ndidi comes in. Side Strike, that's fine. I'm physically defensive, so that's actually really nice. Okay, cool. We took away that from him, like, turn one. And if he rock slided, we're actually not in a bad spot. Because we just tank that. Especially Lando. Like, look at that. That did nothing. First few rapid strike. Oh, it's single strike. Uh, I mean, like I said, I'm always faster than this thing. Specifically speed crep for that. Uh, I'm going to go into my own stack attack since he shouldn't close combat that ever. If it's Sash or Shifu, we're in a little bit of trouble. And if it's like Choice Scarf, Wicked Blow, we could be in a little bit of trouble, but I don't know. We're probably fine. If yeah, there's Ndidi. So I think we live everything from this Urshifu unless it's like Choice Banded, but if it's Choice Banded, we're faster. It's not. It's not Scarf. And it's not Sash. Yeah, we win. W. Clover, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Today's been a pretty okay stream. Alright, uh, my play here is just going to be to Dark Pulse. I can also Snarl Body Press, and that probably do it. I'm going to Dark Pulse Body Press. I think I'm fine if I do that. Helping Hand? Okay. Okay, buddy. Do I have one shot? I don't. Sash. No Warzone today? Dude, I don't stream Warzone. <laughs> I'm a Pokemon streamer. I don't know. I don't know where you got that Warzone thing from. <laughs> okay. Rock slide. I mean, I'm gonna keep my guy here. Probably gonna No, I don't lose Evelto. I click Snarl and I win. Yeah, Evelto, why are you so schnasty, dude? Why is Evelto so schnasty? I mean, suppose there's no harm in literally Dark Pulse Body Press. In case I miss a Snarl. Like, I literally still win. Yeah, good game. Nice. I have been thinking about streaming Apex, I can tell you that much. I think Apex is a really Tanner nice now. game. I think so? Someone named Tanner. Tanner's a pretty common name, though. Okay. So, I actually love this. I actually love this matchup. Daxtrus, the Eveltal, and Moongus, and I can go either Stack or Urshifu. I think I'd rather go Urshifu, though. Mainly just because it makes it a bit easier to deal with Lando, which can be kind of annoying. Yeah. Does the meta revolve around Calyrex Zacian? Uh, Calyrex is really good. Zacian's really good. I would argue they're, like, top two right now, but you don't have to use them. Like, I'm, I'm doing pretty good with uh, Eveltal right now. And Toxtricity. I would say that, like, despite this format having a pretty centralized meta, you can get away with a lot. Like, I think I'm the poster child of getting away with BS. Not even BS, just different Pokemon that you don't really see. I just get away with it because I, like, you know, team build good. Team build good. Alright, let's find out if he's Scarf. It'd be great if he wasn't. Nope, he's not Scarf. Cool. Um, my play here... My play here... Is to Acid Spray Dark Pulse, I think? I could also Snarl. I could Acid Spray Snarl, and that wouldn't be that bad. I'm just gonna Dark Pulse.
Okay, whatever's coming in isn't gonna like this. Oh yeah, if he protected and tried to tailwind, like he's in trouble. I really hope he protected. I mean, obviously he's not Scarf. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, good game, good game. Good game. This is gonna kill you. Give a hand for my opponent. Zygarde top 500? Nice, dude. I feel like Zygarde's really slept on right now. Good game. Shake my hand. <laughs> There's the Lando. Dude, you don't think Lando dies to this too? You think Lando takes this? Check this out. I'm not even gonna... I'm gonna snarl this turn. Like, obviously you're gonna take my Toxtricity away from me, but like... Do I care? Actually, I don't even have to risk that. Let me go ahead and go into my Urshifu. I'll go into my Amoongus. And I'll, uh, I'll do this. I can just snarl. Long time lurker, enjoy the content. Thanks for being on Twitch more. Hey, thank you, Justin. Yeah, I'm faster than the Lando, so that tells me it's modest. That does a lot. Dude, I think if I acid sprayed, it might have gone down. Probably not, but it would have done so much. Alright, that's not KOing Amoongus. That's not KOing either of these Pokemon. Oh yeah, he felt tall. King of bulk. King of bulk. The berry. It's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful Pokemon. Alright, I'm gonna snarl again. And uh I can just spore you. Actually I don't need a snarl, I can just spore Dark Pulse and I probably KO this thing now. Dog don't care. And my opponent's having a really rough time with these switches. He's having a really rough time with these switches, man. I mean if it's goggles Zapdos, he doesn't care. Um, but it's probably Rocky Helmet. Oh, Lando lives, nice. There's the psychic. I mean I'm gonna lose my guy, but you saw- oh, no, I'm not. It is Rocky Helmet. Or, it is Safety Goggles. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I really, really hope you're not... Actually, I'm gonna get in my Tox right here, because it'll be funny. I can Snarl pretty safely. Um, obviously, if I Snarl, I'm gonna take the- I'm gonna take the Psychic pretty well. And he might just go down, so... I don't think Zapdos gets Tailwind this generation. He might. Could be really bad if he gets it off. I'm faster than him. I'm going to live the Thunderbolt, so we're good. Talks don't care. Okay, he cares a little bit, but not as much as you might have thought. All right, buddy, I need you to do me a favor. Don't hit yourself. Kind of a kind of a tall order, I know, but just don't. Kind of a tall order. Really? Really? It, on this turn, of all turns, localized entirely within this game? You hit yourself? Really? Right now? Right now, right now? In this game? Right now? Ow. Um, Eveltal can probably take one Thunderbolt at minus two, but it's not gonna like it. Okay, it's a Hurricane. Don't confuse me. Rain stopped. Good game. <laughs> that's that's pretty much how it goes. No, rain stops. Good game. Give, give me my Moongus. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Grass Knot and the Dark Pulse. I can actually Spore to make it safer. Power is at minus one, so it never actually KOs this thing with Ice Beam. Yep, I live. Thank you. Thunderbolt. Nice. That should be game now. Because I still have my Urshi.
And I am Sash on the Urshfu, so I can just Surging Strikes Grass Knot and I should win. Of course, Surging Strikes is a bit scary. It's a bit scary because I can get paralyzed, but one should do it, so it's not that high risk. And obviously, I still have my Amoongus, which can just Grass Knot. But I'm playing it safe here. I'm probably faster, too. Yeah, I was going to say, if my Eveltal's faster than this thing, then my Jolly Urshifu's faster. Oh, it's going to take two. And I'm paralyzed. Luckily, the rest is guaranteed. Nice. So yeah, I mean, I can just go ahead and Grass Knot now, and it should be game, since they don't wake up. And unless they're Thunder Kyogre, they really don't have much for this Urshifu now that the rain's gone. Oh, I don't have Grass Knot. I forgot on Pollen Puff. I'm still probably fine as long as I land one close combat. Yeah, just get one close combat. We're good. Yeah, Grass, or not Grass Knot, but uh, Pollen Puff should do it now. I think Pollen Puff might be like top 10 moves ever created. This is like a broken move. Palm Puff's absolutely broken. Nice. Obviously not for the offensive thing, even though it's 90 base power. Like, that is a strong move, um, but it's for the healing thing. 